All right, yes, you welcome back to the Balanced Diet of Teletainment this morning. Now, if you check your agogo well, you go see say now about 10 minutes or 11 minutes, they don't cross legs, sit down. Besides seven, if they follow seven, bumper to bumper. Oh, you go say now. 11 minutes past 7, 9 that time. And this one at the time for us to show our top story uh, with it on top of our board. Now, we don't look at, we don't dissect and analyze her. Because they say this one, now something where they affect a lot of people for Nigeria. Now, if they even look and say, whether you get moto, you don't get moto. Whether you get a fast my neighbor generator or you don't get. Whether you get somebody where get her or you don't get. This one too, and uh, the one where they also interest a lot of people. Because now they see say, the Department of Petroleum Resources, they come outside, they try their best to let the citizens of Nigeria understand, say, this work we get for our head, though, we don't take them very serious. Now, the Department of Petroleum Resources for inside Kogi, that's at the Kogi office, they don't come out seal about three filling stations for adjusting their pumps to dispense fuel where they below the approved quantity. That would mean, say, if now five liters are supposed to sell, we don't they hear information and say they know they sell up to five liters for these three filling stations where they don't close them down for now. Now, Mr. Idris Mohammed will be the controller, uh, controller operations for Kogi or field office of the DPR. He be lead the team of operatives and the men of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps during the raid. Uh, they come outside talk, say the filling station, they they defraud a lot of customers when they even know, say then they defrauded. Now, Mohammed will come outside talk, say the office will don't realize, say, apart from defrauding these unsuspecting customers through pump meter adjustments, a lot of these uh, filling station, they, they operate illegally without operating licenses. They even come outside and give example. They say, if you look at Jaokuta now, the team, they'll be sealed off and they order the arrest of the manager of Bimada Integrated Global Serv uh, Services Filling Station for Ohunene for defying the instruction of the DPR by refusing to regularize his own operation. He said, not only say he not even uh, regularize his own operation, he said they cheat the public. It's of course, we even decide to use the civil defense call so that these people, when they see these men in uniform, they go fit the way, they go fit follow the rule, and they go fit uh, enforce compliance uh, based on the situation where they are at hand. Also, for instance, they say Major Okuta, they say the team, they be seal off um, Aduku, Ob Aduku Obi filling station for under dispensing. As the station manager, maybe Husman Yahaya, they come outside, they talk, say, I know they for deal. When I resume work for a year. Now, January 13, I resume work for a year. So I know be there aware. Say they don't they adjust this pump all this time. All that one are excuse. And in the law, ignorance is not an excuse. So we don't they say and I say DPR for inside Kogi State. They don't they make sure say they come up for their coffers from the comfort zone, we walk around to make sure say people, they know they cheat people from the value where they pay for. Now, this one, the one who don't put come your domo because we know, say, a lot of people will get complained about certain fuel. Where did they buy? I've been at kerosene or not diesel. Where did they buy from all those filling stations? And even right now, we don't, they yes, say, gas cylinders. Yes, because a lot of petrol stations, they also sell gas. Gas cylinders, they, where they expire. Plenty of us don't know and before say gas cylinder, they actually expire. We will just go buy from the roadside, not knowing, say, that one, if it they leak, and that one, if it cause heavy explosion, for inside your house. What we they asking you this morning, say make you send in your contribution in terms of filling stations where you know say uh, something they wrong, something don't happen. But yet we never still get um, anybody we don't call ask them question. Now we they asking you say make you tell us your own experience in terms of um, the services where some of these filling stations they give. The even the fuel attendant, how the person they take handle the situation. You feel say something don't they happen for inside some filling station? Looking at the way we uh, we they hear now according to DPR, say some filling stations that they adjust their pump meter so yes you go pay for five liters of fuel and at the end of the day you go get less than five liters of fuel especially if you get the container when at the standard container for example for a five liter um five liter keg and you pay for five liter keg by the end of the day you never reach the mark where it's supposed to reach that one go to make it the accent in question and if customers want to complain about a particular filling station, uh, now at the time for us to hear from your domot because the Department of Petroleum Resources doesn't listen to the cries of the people. Get this morning because I get some messages for here in terms of um, the way where a lot of filling station it be like say some mago mago they inside where they use take um, deceive unsuspecting customers. Now take for example your Wakago filling station and you buy fuel. You talk a five liter. You want, and you carry the five liter care, go, go buy and je, 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 carry the money where you need. You buy and finish, you look your keg. Ah, ah, look attendance, look the keg. Say, bros, the line where it's supposed to reach, it's not richer. 
And also, now, fabric take care of this one, carry. There are times I will say, now, waiting, I get to serve it. That, now, I'm waiting, I sell. Now, that's how you come the one that say, whether Mago Mago don't enter or whether I never enter. Or they ask you about your own experience, we don't get. Even in terms of the way where this attendant, they take talk to, um, talk to you, we one by four. Or, should we even go to the part of the 15 naira uh, stamp uh, duty charge, where they don't tell them, they come out. Uh, maybe I know they collect her again, but still, some foreign attendants from some filling station, they come outside, they tell you ahead of time, say, oh, girl, madam, oh, before, if you want to use POS, I beg, no, say, 15 naira a day on top of them. Even though we know, say, all that don't do on ground by um, the people, the powers that be, say, make them stop to they collect the 15 naira duty stamp where they claim, say, they collect. And from my little experience, when I feel like I go one filling station, I won't go by four. And as always, it's a cashless Lagos, yeah? Now, Waka, with my ATM, my POS, my ATM um, card, and the attendant tell me, say, Madam, oh, no vex, POS, no day again. Ah. This is the one that say, what thing they happen? Um, but because of this back and forth on top, 15 naira take, 15 naira no take, um, they can't come out the whole POS machines for inside that particular filling station. But the reports what they get now, now say they don't get arrangements, but they don't bring them back. But you, Seth, tell us what you, what your own experience be in terms of um, the way we, we, we customers, they treat customers for filling station. And... Some filling stations where did they do Mago Mago? How you take discover that Mago Mago? Now, maybe the one we I want to know this morning. All right, I might just read comment from here. You, you tell us, say you, they send your message all the way from uh, Lekki. You say one filling station day for inside um, Lekki Axis where they know they ever sell fuel for the price, for the uh, quantity where they buy from. And how you take no, uh, now, now wait till you come outside and talk. You say, from the container where I carry for hand, and from the fact, say, for inside my motor, when I want to transfer that container for inside my motor, you know they always reach the, the gauge where it's supposed to reach. Thank you so much for that message. But keep your messages coming in. We're going into a small break right now. By the time we come back, we still get other things to go on on top of the balance of the entertainment. So. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunga videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.